I cannot wait to dive into this one. <laughs> My favorite stories are the ones that other people would look at and shy away from. The ones that other people look at and go, I don't know, man. That one's too contentious. Don't want to touch it. It's radioactive. I look at that and go, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's talk about this. So um, this really, really, really blew up on Twitter the other night. And I wanted to weigh in and give everybody my two cents. So I believe this is in Newsweek. They say the following. Writer and activist Sean King announced Monday that he supports the destruction of statues that depict white Jesus. King who has been an outspoken supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement, tweeted his remarks on Monday. He noted that historians believe Jesus likely had the appearance of people who typically lived in the Middle East during his time, rather than the white man who is often depicted in Christian iconography. Quote, Yes, I think the statues of the white European they claim is Jesus should also come down, King tweeted. They are a form of white supremacy, always have been. In the Bible, when the family of Jesus wanted to hide and blend in, Guess where they went? Egypt! Not Denmark, he added. Tear them down. The comments quickly drew condemnation from some on the platform, including several prominent conservative figures. So I put this up as the graphic here just so everybody could see what he's referring to, because it actually is true that researchers have looked into the question of, okay, if Jesus existed, let's just assume for a second that he did exist. Well, we know the region he came out of, and so we know what people in that region look like and what they sound like and all of that. And so what would Jesus have looked like if he actually existed? And the answer is right there. He would look like that. Now, again, that's researchers who looked into this and, you know, reported on it. And, I mean, you could like or dislike the findings of that, but I do think the findings of that are totally legitimate. I don't know how anybody could really disagree with that. He's from that region, so he's going to look like that. I mean, it is what it is. Um, so that's the first point. Now... I will say, before I get into responding exactly to Sean here, let's talk a little bit about the whole statue thing, because it already happened, and it's what I was talking about from early on. So, it started with just the Confederate statues, and, you know, my position on that, I think, is like most reasonable people who get it. Like, I look at that and I go, yeah, I mean, I get it. You're, you're in a southern state that was part of the Confederacy, and you have these statues to these Confederate leaders, Confederate generals, sometimes prominent slave runners. Um, and you have, like, very high and dense populations of, of black folks. And effectively, it's their government that's supposed to represent them. And they're literally putting up monuments to what is effectively their enslavement. Like, you could try to dress it up as much as you want. Oh, it's about states' rights or whatever when it comes to the Civil War. But the fact of the matter is, it, it's slavery. Like, they wanted the right, states' rights, for people to own other people. That's what they wanted. So, like, when you have Confederate generals and whatnot, like, I get it that when people say, no, 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 it's about history, it's not about that. If you want to talk about two generations removed and some little kid is taught from when he's a kid, no, 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 it's about history, we're against slavery, but it's about history, then maybe it develops into that somewhat more benign thing over time. I'm not denying that, but you cannot deny the, ori the origin of it. I I'm like Trump, I can't say the word origin. The origin of it. And the origin is, yeah, it's about, it was about slavery. That's what it was about. And I don't know why people get triggered by that fact. It's it, like, just own it. That's what it is. That's what it was about. I, as I said previously, I almost have more respect for the people who own it and still say they want to rep it than people who don't own it but want to rep it. Like with the NASCAR and the Confederate flag thing, so many responses were like, no, 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 it's not about that. But I had more respect for the person who was like, well, yes, it is about that. And I still would like to fly it. Because at least that person's being honest. Because in the case of that Confederate flag, the one that we all think of as the Confederate flag, that came about in the 1960s specifically as a response to the Civil Rights Act. It was the flag that they used to say, forget the Civil Rights Act, we disagree, we want segregation. That was the whole point of that flag, because that wasn't the original conservative flag. Or, or, excuse me, Confederate flag, not conservative flag. Um, that wasn't the original one, but it, that was the one that came about in the 1960s specifically as an FU to Martin Luther King, and the civil rights movement. So, I almost respect the people who just wear it on their sleeve more. 
But anyway, so it started with the Confederate statues. And I and most people were like, yeah, I get it. Now, I think they should be in a museum because, you know, I'm fine with preserving it for that educational purpose. You know, you have to learn your history to not repeat it. So I'm fine with it in a museum. Some people would disagree with me on that. Whatever, that's fine. But I understand taking it down. Sure, take down the Confederate statues. But then I told you guys, in the subsequent conversations we had, it's not going to stop just there. Because there actually is a reasonable debate to be had about going further than that. So, namely, what do you do with founding fathers, who some of them were genuinely brilliant in some ways, but were also slave owners? So do you say, yeah, the fact that they were slave owners overrides any of the other good stuff they did. So yeah, take the, those statues down too. Now that sounds extreme, and that's definitely against what the majority of the population would say. I think most people would say, leave the Founding Fathers up. But there, that is somewhat of a reasonable argument to say, hey, they're slave owners. But there's no re Like, why would we put up a statue of a slave-owning Founding Father when we could have a statue of Martin Luther King in his place, for example, right? But the thing is, and... I told you, I predicted this. See, now it's become not just take down the Confederate statues, not just take down the Founding Father statues, but now it's also, <laughs> and it's almost funny to say it, but it's true. Now it's just, it's morphed into take down statues, like all statues. Now, listen, I don't, I don't really care. I really don't. I don't care one way or the other. Um, but let's not pretend like the people doing it have some sort of coherent philosophy as to what they're doing. Because one of the things that happened recently was they went after statue of Abraham Lincoln, who freed the slaves. Now, I somewhat get it because there was a, a slave portion of that statue where it was like a crawling slave who looked desperate and like part of the Abraham Lincoln statue and people were like, that slave thing next to him is weird or whatever. Um, but then it also went to Ulysses S. Grant the general who defeated the Confederacy. <laughs> so you have, so now it's not just take down the Confederate statues, it's also take down the Founding Fathers and take down the people who specifically, you know, defeated the Confederacy and it's going to keep going. It's going to be, like there was another one, I forget what the name of the person of the statue was, but this person was killed while fighting slavery and he was a prominent anti-slavery anti activist. And that was, it wasn't like, oh, that's ancillary to his story. No, his life was about fighting against slavery, and that statue or monument or whatever was defaced and pulled down. So my point is, let's not pretend like the people pulling down the statues have some sort of coherent, overall, overarching philosophy that they're implementing, and that they've really thought through this philosophical question as to like, okay, you know, um... We should be anti-all statues, and, okay, then what's your thoughts on the flag? What's your thoughts on the bald eagle and other American symbols and whatnot? Should that all come down too? And if that comes down, are we already going from step one to step 1067, which is abolish the nation state and therefore all nation states? In other words, yes, there's an argument to be made that, yeah, this is a mob mentality. It's become a mob mentality, and they're not limiting the scope of what they're doing to just the Confederate statues, it's going way beyond that. Now, again, I do think there's reasonable philosophical conversations to be had around this topic, but my point is, they are not having those reasonable philosophical... Philosophical? <laughs> they're not having those philosophy conversations. Um, they're just acting like a mob and pulling down everything in sight, and we knew it was going to develop to this point, and... This is almost a little bit of an I told you so moment. So now to get back to the Sean King thing. So. What I don't understand is this. I thought that the whole point was, and I thought everybody understood. Well, if you're talking about pulling down statues, it's government statues. It's on public property paid for by tax money. And so... Everybody understands that, well, we have a, the people have a right to weigh in on the statues that are up there on our property paid for with our money. Because that's all, that's, it's, a, it's the collective. It's a public statue. And to my knowledge, all the statues, whether you agree or disagree with them coming down, whoever it may be, Confederates, Founding Fathers, whatever, that's all on public property. When you start getting into pulling down statues on private property, then that that is against 
that on, on top of breaking laws, that's like against the First Amendment. People have a First Amendment right to display whatever the hell they want to display. That's what a free country is. That's what free speech is. So in other words, even if you want to pull down the Confederate statue on public property, which I, I agree with, no problem with that at all, if somebody has a Confederate statue on their private property, there is that it's not debatable. They get to keep that up. Because that's what freedom is. In the same way, if somebody wanted to, they could fly a flag of the hammer and sickle. They could build a statue to Stalin, for all I care. If it's on their property, they're able to do it. The public doesn't have a say as to what somebody does with their private property. So, and now... Sean King is saying, like, pull down the statues that depict white Jesus, but there are no public statues that depict white Jesus, because we have separation of church and state. It's all private. It's all, like, churches or whatever. You can't pull down stuff that's part of a church. And, and the broader point is this, too. Putting aside the legality of it and whether or not it makes sense, you got to leave the private stuff up, because that's free country. You can put up whatever the hell you want to put up. But every single culture and society depicts their gods, their leaders in their own image. So in other words, there's plenty of pictures of and representations of black Jesus. The actual Jesus was Middle Eastern, right? So there's, you know, insofar as there's, you know, like Lebanese Christians, for example, they probably depict him looking like he's Middle Eastern. And white hippie Jesus, while it's totally historically fraudulent, this is what a majority white population depicted Jesus as. I don't... Religion is effectively made up anyway. So who cares? They made up another aspect of it. Okay, yes, if Jesus existed, Jesus would have looked like that. For sure. That's a fact. But we're talking about, you know, it's religion. Religion is made up and people have their own twists and, and interpretations on it and whatnot and that's freedom of religion and people could say or do whatever the hell they want to do so even though Jesus if he existed did not look like this is that flat white supremacy? No. Are there evangelical Christian fundamentalists who are white supremacists who happen to worship this Jesus? Of course. The KKK are famously Christian and they think Jesus looked like hippie Jesus so there are instances of that but everybody like, you know, my mom, for example, is a Catholic, right? I was raised Catholic. I'm not religious at all, obviously, anymore. But my mom's a Catholic. You know, they have hippie white Jesus in, in her church. And if you told her, oh, this is white supremacy, that you're worshiping this God, she would look at you like, what? I don't, what? <laughs> and you could even explain to her, like, yeah, the actual Jesus, if he existed, looked like that. And she'd be like, oh, okay but it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. It's religion. <laughs> like, people could say or do or worship or not worship whatever the hell they want to worship. That's, again, part of religious freedom. So I don't... I mean, it really is a divisive thing to go down, and it's a picking a battle that's totally unnecessary. And listen, Sean King was a, a Bernie Sanders surrogate, and I know him, and... He actually cares a lot about, like, Medicare for all and all the economic stuff that I care about. And so, I don't, like, I got nothing against him. I got nothing against him at all. But, you know, this is one of those things where it's like, why? Why? I mean, the, again, the first point is, the debate about pulling down statues should be limited to just public property. Because that's the debate where it makes sense to have the conversation because that's our property. Once you get into no, I want to pull it down on private property, you lost me already because that's that's illegal, that's unconstitutional. You can't just go around pulling down stuff that's on somebody that's somebody else's. That makes no sense. Um, but beyond that, yes, actual Jesus would have looked like this if he existed, but who cares? Cultures always depict, you know, their leaders, their gods, in their own image. And so, you know, majority white populations depicted Jesus as white. Who cares? <laughs> not all the people who worship white Jesus are white supremacists, and that is not white supremacy, full stop. So, I just, I think it's um, needlessly divisive, and it's give it's so much fodder for the right. 
Not that it should matter if you're right in principle and you're giving the right fodder, but I don't think it's right in principle and you are giving the right fodder. So now part of, you know, Trump was even talking about it the other day. He's added it as a line in his speeches. The left-wing mobs roving around, pulling down your beautiful founding fathers, statues of your founding fathers. They want to they wanna pull down Jesus. He said something like that. Pull down statues of Jesus. And it's like, wow, okay. So now we're getting a little bit silly here. Now we're getting ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I would disagree. People have a right to worship whoever they want to worship. That's freedom of religion. Even if the origins of it are not good. You can look at any religion, and origins are questionable as hell. Religions, by and large, there's an element of it bathed in blood throughout history, including Christianity. Um, and then there's also the element of, like, good people doing good things in the name of their religion. So to just, you know, writ large kind of write off the notion and say nobody pull down all the statues of this god because I don't like the way that this god's depicted, it's needlessly authoritarian, it's an overreach, and um, it is a violation of people's fundamental freedoms. So I wouldn't open this door or go down this path at all.